Harry and Meghan Markle got married in a royal wedding on the 19th of May 2018. Their wedding took place at St George's Chapel in Windsor Castle in the United Kingdom. Prince Harry and Meghan's marriage was the talk of the town as they broke a few traditions during their wedding. First of all, royal weddings have been known to take place on a weekday, but Harry and Meghan's marriage took place on a Saturday instead of a weekday. The couple also broke the royal mould on their royal engagements with their hands clasped together as they arrived. Harry and Meghan broke traditional royal protocol by holding their hands throughout their wedding. Just two years after Meghan was welcomed into the royal family, they broke another tradition. Prince Harry and Meghan made the biggest and most shocking announcement ever that they will be stepping back from their duties as senior members of the royal family. This announcement was made in early 2020 and it left the entire world in disbelief. Who leaves the famous royal family and all the benefits attached to being a royal? Only Harry and Meghan Markle can. So, keep watching to find out why Harry and Meghan no longer have HRH titles. The initial HRH titles. The letters HRH simply mean His or Her Royal Highness and it is used to signify senior members of the royal family. British royals with HRH titles get access to a lot of perks. An HRH is paid a salary for being a working royal and official protection and security are also guaranteed. Members of the public are expected to bow or at least show courtesy when they see an HRH. Harry and Meghan stepping back from their roles as senior royal members of the family. In January 2020, Harry and Meghan made the biggest and most shocking announcement ever, stating that they intend to step back from their roles as high-ranking members of the royal family. This came less than a week after they announced that they were expecting their second child, Lilibet. Shortly after their announcement, in January, Buckingham Palace announced that Harry and Meghan had made a consensus with Queen Elizabeth II and that they would not be coming back to the royal family as working members. According to a statement posted on the couple's official page on Instagram, it stated that part of the reasons for stepping down from their roles as senior members of the royal family was to become more financially independent by working on their own without any form of royal interference. It went further to say that geographic balance will enable their son Archie to appreciate the royal tradition in which he was born – Lilibet wasn't born at the time – and also give them space to focus on the next phase of their lives and the launch of their new charitable project. Harry and Meghan officially broke free from the royal family on March the 31st, 2020. Loss of HRH titles After Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from their royal duties, Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, stated that the couple would no longer use their HRH titles as they have stopped working for the royal family, but they are still regarded as members of the royal family. She appreciated Harry and Meghan for their dedication and work in the country and sincerely wished on behalf of the royal family that they lived a happy and peaceful life. With the loss of the HRH titles, Harry and Meghan will no longer be addressed as his or her royal highness. They will also not be getting any funds for royal duties and will not be able to represent the monarch officially for any royal function. The official website of the royal family has also removed their HRH titles officially from their website this August 2023. If you want to be part of our family, quickly subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell so we can keep spilling the royal tea. Maintaining Duke and Duchess titles Even though Harry and Meghan lost their HRH titles, both of them will still be known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The couple were given these titles when they got married on May the 19th, 2018 by Harry's late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. The Duke and Duchess title cannot be easily removed by the monarch, and if at all, it has to be removed 
it would require an act of parliament for it to take place. Harry and Meghan's transition to autonomy. Harry and Meghan have since moved on with their new lives in California with their two kids, Archie and Lilibet. They live in their Montecito home in California. However, there are speculations that the Duke of Sussex is not on good terms with members of his family, his dad King Charles and his brother Prince William. While Meghan, on the other hand, continues to maintain a great relationship with her mother, Dora Ragland, who spends a lot of time with them in their Montecito home. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had achieved more than a lot for themselves since they broke off from the royal family. They had signed various multi-million deals, which led to an increase in their income. Unfortunately for the couple, they have lost some of those deals already. Harry and Meghan have ventured into a lot of ventures, which are all media related, from writing a memoir and a book to granting interviews on television and podcasts. Prince Harry's memoir, which is titled Spare, came out in January 2023 and has sold over 1.4 million copies since it was released. Spare is regarded as the fastest selling book, non-fiction, of all time by the Guinness World Records. Spare is a tell-all memoir where Harry talked about his life as a royal, the grief he had to endure after his mother's death and the failing relationship between him, his father King Charles and his only brother Prince William. The couple also signed another five-year deal with Netflix. They have already released a docuseries which features world leaders and celebrities like Gloria Steinem, Ginsburg and Ruth Bader. The second docuseries, which is an animated children's show, didn't see the light of day because it was abandoned. The couple also had another docuseries, which is focused on service members who were all injured and still preparing for the Invictus Games. Their production company is known as Archwell Audio, Harry and Meghan's podcast production company, and is also signed to an exclusive deal with Spotify. According to various reports, the Spotify deal is a three-year contract that ranges from $15 million to $25 million. The podcast titled Archetypes was hosted by Meghan Markle and was released in August 2020. It involved conversations with friends and celebrities like Trevor Noah, Mariah Carey and Serena Williams. The Archetypes was top on the podcast charts for Spotify in some countries like the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Ireland and the United States. However, both parties have unanimously agreed to part ways three years after. Only one project was produced, which is a 12-episode podcast titled Archetypes. The couple has also explored different opportunities by engaging in solo projects. Harry is working on a documentary focused on Africa, and he intends to travel to Africa alone to make a new Netflix film. According to reports, Harry's trip to Africa is inspired by his mother, the late Princess Diana, who visited the continent of Africa shortly before her death while Meghan, on the other hand, makes a big career move by signing a deal at WME, Hollywood Talent Agency, with Ari Emanuel as her agent. Public reaction to Harry and Meghan's decision. The news of Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from their royal duties came as a rude shock to many. Some royal fans were not pleased with the news and accused Meghan of milking Harry and causing a strain between him and his family. However, others have tried to make sense of their decision and wished them well in their new endeavours. Maintaining philanthropic efforts Although Harry and Meghan have lost their HRH titles, the couple is still committed to charitable causes, even after stepping down from their royal duties. In October 2020, Harry and Meghan founded their foundation, which is called Archwell Foundation. The foundation is a non-profit organization that is focused on non-profit activities. The three main focuses on which the Archwell Foundation was formed are to build a better world online, restore trust in information and uplift various communities globally, both online 
and offline. In their first year, the Archwell Foundation did very well, breaking records, and it outdid President Obama and Clinton's foundations. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex Foundation generated an income of $13,005,600 and spent $3,987,000. The organization has given grants to more than 40 organizations that focus on their aims and also carried out programs and campaigns that align with their focus. In addition, Harry has donated a great portion of the proceeds of his memoir, Spare, to charities close to his heart. $1,500,000 was donated to St. Bell, while a whopping £300,000 will also be donated to the Well Child Charity, both charities which are sincerely dear to the Duke's heart. He has already made plans to grace the Well Child Awards with his presence when his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, passed away. The couple is set to present at the Invictus Games on the 16th of September 2023, where the Duchess of Sussex will be hosting a segment called The Life Stories Scenes at the Closing Ceremony and her husband Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, will deliver a farewell speech at the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games. Although both Harry and Meghan are no longer addressed as HRH, they have continued to lend a helping hand to others and give back to society through their various philanthropic projects. One cannot help but say that the blood of his late mother, Princess Diana, flows in his veins. What lies ahead for Harry and Meghan? No one can tell what lies ahead for Harry and Meghan Markle. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not look like they are going back on their word by returning to work as senior members of the royal family. However, the British people and the entire world is waiting to see what happens next in the life of Harry and Meghan Markle. What do you think about Harry and Meghan letting go of their royal duties and therefore their HRH titles? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Click here to watch more videos and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.